This is going to be freaking awesome. You guys are in for a treat because today's just not like a special Saturday video. I mean, we haven't done like a special video yet, but if we had one to kick it off, dude, this be it. This is going to be freaking cool. If you want to know how to do this, and have your stream be able to transition like this and how clean this is. I'm going to show you how. Also, I'm going to show you what I have just for you guys that normally you'd have to pay a lot of money for or go through a big hassle in order to get it done right, get it done well. And I'm going to give it to you guys for free. Let's get into it. First, before we get into, you know, the, the free stuff and you how to make your streams look awesome, let's get into this transition thing because it's a plugin that you need for OBS or OBS Live, OBS Studio or OBS Live. If you're using Streamlabs OBS, this isn't going to work. You need to be using OBS Live or, or OBS Studio. That's kind of the give and take with Streamlabs OBS is it has a lot of good features, but you can't use any of the new plugins or different ones that people make. And they have some really, really cool ones that you guys can go explore if you want. But just for today, I'm gonna to show you how this one works. So click the link in the description down below. Once you hit that link, it's going to bring you over to here. Now, what you want to do is this is the plugin called Motion Effect 1.2, whatever. Got a few updates, but it shows you generally what this is programmed to do. And after we download it, I'll show you a few things, what you should and shouldn't do in order to make it look right or operate correctly. So once you get here, you go over to the go download, click on that, go to the Motion Effect 1.2.1. I know it says pre-release, just ignore that. Uh, this is the one that I have, this is the one that works. You're gonna click on that, and then you're gonna click on the motion effect. You're gonna have the zip folder down here, and you wanna get your source code as well. You wanna download this one and this one here. Don't need this one. What you guys wanna do now is you want to right click and you wanna extract these, and you wanna do it directly into your program files, into your OBS studio, or into your OBS Live install folder directly into here. You guys go to your OBS Studio folder. I'm not gonna do it because I already have them in here. And then you guys can close out of that. Now, let me explain this a little bit better. Let's say we have scene one and scene two. And let's say all they have is your webcam and your game or your Elgato, your capture card. If you have your sources ordered, so that your webcam is above your gameplay. And then you try to transition to scene number two. And on scene number two, you have your gameplay over top of your webcam. Why you'd ever have your gameplay over top of your webcam, I don't know. But if that's the way you ordered it or other sources, they'll do this weird glitchy effect where one will disappear through the other and it just doesn't look clean. It looks kind of ugly. On another hand, let's say on scene one, you have your webcam and your gameplay. And then on scene two, you have just your webcam. What will happen to the transition is that your game will shrink and disappear. That's how it'll go away unless you do a different animation for when it does disappear. That gets a little, that gets more into the second part of of this plugin we'll get to that same thing when you're bringing the game in if you're bringing the game in from a scene that doesn't have the game originally this is considered an appearing item it will come down in just like your settings show appearing items as from the top left that's how it is if you have one of your sources on one scene and then don't on the other scene the other thing is that you just really don't want to have transitions where one source is above the other 
and then they switch between those scenes because you got that ugly glitchy effect the other scenario is where you have everything ordered correctly from scene a to scene b and let's say you have your webcam almost fully over top of your gameplay but maybe not as much like you would see in my intermission screen and then it shrinks down to the live screen where my webcam will just shrink down into one of the corners or into the side and back and forth that is the transition that you're looking for but you got to make sure that your sources are in the same order in the correct order and they're on both scenes but anyways let's get into the next part okay so next with this you want to make sure that all of your sources you want to right click on them and you want to go to transform you want to go to edit transform you want to make sure that all of your sources are using the no bounds bounding type because they're not going to animate correctly you also want to make sure that they are all using the same positional alignment you know if you're using it on the top left on one scene you want to make sure that it's using it the same way on another scene Otherwise, it is not going to transition smoothly. Also, I don't know why you would ever do this, but if you ever had two of the same source to the same Elgato on one scene and then you try to switch it, it's gonna look really, really ugly. Don't do that. I don't know why you would do that. With this, what you can do is you can go and click the gear that's just below the transitions option. And what you'll do there is you can see if you want to add a little bit more of a curve to something to all the different options you can see as i'm scrolling through right now you know you have uh matched items or your you know general items your matched item your appearing items like if something isn't on one screen and then you transition to a scene and it's on that scene one of your sources appears on that scene like a webcam or your gameplay then how is that going to come in is do you want that to have like a huge curve on it how fast do you want that to come in how fast do you want things to disappear how fast do you want things to reappear how fast do you want specific items or like your webcam or your gameplay you want your webcam to move faster than your gameplay you want it to have more of a curve all of those options are down in here as you can see you guys here it is here is the alert box now unfortunately you guys we weren't able to get like one full shareable link from stream elements it's something that they need to do to give us but what i have is all the downloads of all of the gifs everything in the discord all the audio files you guys go in you set up an alert box you go to each of your alerts and go through and set them all up how you like i am going to show you now how we set these up very very simple so here we go just to show you guys what this looks like is you have your image up here you'll have you'll have to upload your sound you'll have to upload your image uh you guys will see if you know if you have to enter these in you put it in as an image because the file that i'm going to be sharing with you guys is a gif file so you enter it as an image and you'll pick <clears throat> the correct one I have a few tiers of the animation here. What you guys want to do there is you'll customize it however you want it to show up. The duration, you come down and do your text details. You want a different color, you want a text shadow, do whatever you want. Um, mix it up however you feel like. I use this font, you don't have to use that font. And also the variations things, I don't have any for the followers. But let me show you for the the subs the gifted subs we'll go to these settings see i have follow alert off i have everything else off so i go to the sub alert and i go to variations i have a different alert for tier one tier two tier three and for a bunch of different variations of numbered of community gifted subs so if i want to see any of these i'm going to emulate let's say somebody gifts a Let's do a, a random community gift. That's what it's going to look like. Is that not freaking awesome? Freaking Super Santa in a tuxedo. Just for haha's because I can't get enough seeing this. Let's do another community gift. There you go. Just to show you guys, uh, let's let's show you another one. Just subscribed. Also, you guys, I have that enabled. You guys can disable that. Let me show you what that is exactly. Say somebody subscribes, right? You can go down to enable text to speech. I like to have it enabled in case one of you guys writes a message for me. 
you can use whatever voice you want i just use the default one so those are the alerts now what i want to do is i want to show you guys each of these alerts because they are amazing also if you guys see any part of the overlay that you like that looks good drop into my stream we're live every monday wednesday friday and sometimes saturday if you guys are looking for any part of the animation any part of the overlay guys it's yours We're gonna have everything that we possibly can for a download in the discord link to that again down in the description down below if you guys ever have any questions or need anything from me you know how to hit me up twitter discord on stream and until next time you guys keep busy we'll see you in the next one